time now to turn back to Hannah Sky and the Storm Alert Center for a check of our forecast on this Monday. And of course, you're looking there, a severe weather outlook and everyone also looking ahead for tomorrow, Election Day. Hannah. Yes, indeed we are. And don't don't get startled when you see this. I just wanted to show you guys what's going on in our western states over here. Quite a lot of severe weather, a lot of action. Uh, this system, at least the uh, cold front, is going to move our way, but we are not expecting any severe weather. We are expecting some showers, but nothing to the level that what is going on in areas such as Oklahoma, Arkansas, um, and some areas of Texas. Now, taking a look in our viewing area right now, all we're dealing with is some wind advisories down up in our higher elevations there. Other than that, we are staying clear. Those wind gusts right now are gusting a little bit more around 19 miles per hour in Chattanooga, 21 in Lafayette, 19 there in Athens. So it is a gusty and breezy day today. Those dew points already climbing into the upper 50s, starting to feel muggy if you head outside. So again, our high temperatures today are going to be around 71 degrees here in the metro area. We're looking at those sunny conditions, excuse me, those cloudy conditions, less sunshine. Now heading into tomorrow, elect day. We're looking at a high jumping up to around 76 degrees. We'll start to see those showers peak their way through during the afternoon into the evening. Some scattered showers at first. Here's a look at today. Again, we've got that line of storms moving its way in from the west along that cold front. As we go into Tuesday around 513, that's when we start to see a couple of those showers, at least in the Chattanooga metro area areas of Dalton, Georgia, Dunlap. Uh, other than that, these are kind of the outer bands of that cold front working their way through. As we head into the next couple of hours after that, heading into your early Wednesday, we dry up a little bit. So closer to around so far 7, 8 o'clock on Tuesday, election night, still staying relatively dry. I definitely bring a rain jacket or just a small umbrella for some of those uh, areas just in case if you get stuck outside waiting in the poles and it begins to shower. Heading into Wednesday, this is around around 148 p.m. So we could start to see some showers and maybe a couple storms working their way through. Could see some heavier rain. And then as we continue through our Wednesday, that chance for that scattered showers and those storms work their way through. Again, the Storm Prediction Center is not forecasting anything severe for our area for tomorrow or on Wednesday. Taking a look at the next seven days, those temperatures are going to continue to rise above the average, possibly hitting 80 degrees on Thursday. That's about 15 degrees higher than our normal average that is normal for this time of year. And of course, the temperature trends six to 10 days out, still standing firmly at very much above the average. Precipitation trends, though, the next six to 10 days out, looks like it's going to be leaning above the average in regards to rain, which would be good for those drought conditions since we are in those mild conditions for most of our area and into the Alabama, Georgia region. Now taking a look at that seven day forecast for you, just to recap again, we are going to be mostly dry for today. Just those cloudy conditions start to see some of those showers work their way through on election day afternoon, mostly sporadic, but still bring some rain gear with you. And then that heavier rain works its way through heading into your Wednesday morning.